Yeah, that's your girl Sadie Man. I was thinking, how about we try to cook something? Hey yeah, so this is one of them times where you have nothing in your refrigerator kind of or a lot of stuff in your refrigerator but you don't want to go out to the grocery store and buy any more ingredients so I kind of just found stuff that's in my refrigerator or in my cabinets and like try to put this meal of such together so I had noodles I had like some chicken leftover not leftover because it's raw I just seasoned it overnight or not overnight it was in the refrigerator for a couple of minutes I guess <laughs> And I just seasoned it and let it soak in there. I seasoned it with this stuff right here and this right here, you know, whatever you choose. These are just seasonings that was in my cabinet and I just kind of like put them all together to make it smell good. It smelled good, so I'm assuming it tastes good. And then, I don't know, paprika just for taste, I guess. Thought it was salt, but it ended up being paprika. Actually, I thought it was pepper, but I thought it ended up being paprika but I use my foreman grill for this so I kind of like put it on 425 degrees when it gets to the temperature just put the meat on there and then just you know <laughs> close it and then you know easy peasy and I'm like this is easier for me that way I have the stove is available for the other parts of the food that I am cooking with this meal I like I said it's just I like noodles and uh, chicken and I don't know some type of pasta so I had these and I was like I can make this work and fit but yep that's what the chicken look like now close it I have a timer on like 25 degrees but I do yeah put the timer on there for it has to be like 25 degrees because I don't play with my chicken for real I like to cook it till it's like cooked all the way because I'm not trying to risk salmonella but yeah back to the noodles you know I put two boxes in here because I want to make a lot of it and I had two boxes available so whatevs just keep stirring that and the only way to know how to make noodles are done is by eating them for me and like you know I have like some broccoli fillets so I, I like the ones that I could put in the microwave that way I could just put it in the microwave instead of having to boil it and all that stuff to so just you know, five minutes in the microwave and it'd be done I keep checking on the chicken yeah nice and colorful <laughs> not really colorful but like you know dark or whatever i like it cooked they kind of seem like they're done but i like to leave it in there a little bit longer i don't know my husband doesn't like it but i like my chicken dry i try to like keep it juicy though but I, you know i'm scared salmonella i have no idea i don't have a thermometer so for me i feel like the best is to make sure they're done done so, yep, when the broccoli's done, it's good. Just pour it on top of here, you know. Kind of like a chicken broccoli alfredo type thing, but without alfredo or, yeah, <laughs> without alfredo. And yeah, I just mix the broccoli in there with it, you know, since the noodles are done already. I um, went to the store a little bit, but I went to the store a while ago and got these peppers, and I was like, these are gonna be great for whatever in the future because I you know I try to think ahead about these things obviously rinse them off get all the wax off of it and uh, got all my colors and cut them up with my knife boom I like cutting them I try cutting them into long slices like these to yeah you know, to be different not lazy okay yeah this is what I like I like when they're like this not black but you know, done. <laughs> they see this is how you know it's done, done. And the inside is, yeah, white. No pink in there at all, nothing. It's not, it's kind of juicy, you know, it's not, you know, jerky hard or anything. But I chopped the chicken up, of course, into like pieces, maybe smaller pieces in this. Yeah, smaller pieces. This is better. I cut them up to very small pieces so it'd be easier to put into the, uh, pasta stuff I, I just it's just some type of pasta dish like I said I'm not really too specific on what I'm making or anything I kind of just put stuff together and then see if my husband likes it shoot I like it we're gonna eat it because we're not gonna waste food and that's just how it's gonna be <laughs>
Oh yeah, just try to put it in there with one hand. I uh, was thinking about trying to grill the peppers. Just try to like, I just tried it. This is something I just tried. Just experimental food right here is what I'll call this. Um, so I didn't know exactly what number to put that on or what, but I don't know. Just see how it goes. After a few minutes, it just burnt a lot, and I don't know. It, was, it didn't matter for real after that. It had like a little bit of stuff, but I probably did it wrong anyway, so I didn't really need all that. I just put them in there just like how they are right here. And so I don't know. I didn't season it either, so it's just straight peppers. And I tried to put that on top, <laughs> but they, but obviously, as you can see, the there's way too much in here to stir it. So I uh, try to improvise on this is the biggest pot I have, so I can't really put this in a bigger pot and make that. See, like the layer from it's like a whole nother inch up there. So I found this Tupperware that I have. Um, so thankfully, I'm gonna just pour half of it inside of this Tupperware right here, and then. Uh, I don't know, shoot, make it, make it work somehow. I'll put it in the Tupperware and then mix the mix it all together there because for real, I kind of just put everything on top of each other. And like the noodles at the bottom, chicken and then the broccoli or broccoli and chicken and then, pop, and then the peppers. But putting in here, you know, halfway, try to put it in there as, as well as I could. And yeah, just, if I can just mix it up in this Tupperware and this is all before I even put the seasoning or anything on here like I put seasoning on chicken but I didn't put no seasoning on the peppers I didn't put no seasoning on the broccoli so it was I don't know, I try to be healthy I guess or I wasn't even thinking that but yeah so far it was working you know I, I noticed that I could at least put a little bit more in there to the point where I could put <laughs> just noodles in here yeah just enough so I uh, gonna it didn't fit all the way in there so I'm gonna put I got another Tupperware so I could put that in there so we could just eventually they all get mixed in hopefully and I not make a mess with that oops Yeah, I just put the noodles in another Tupperware and then somehow incorporate those or matter of fact I'll just put these noodles away for another day. I'll probably put pasta sauce on it and call it spaghetti or something like that in the future But now I'm gonna just use the ones that did mix in with the actual mixture and then this Tupperware can be for Tomorrow or whenever we get done eating this pasta So so that way I won't have to worry about it not fitting in there. Just made too many noodles, I guess. Oops. <laughs> but for my cream, since I have everything out of the pot, I have a cream of chicken, two cans of it. So I'm not really sure exactly how to use this. I think this is my first time using this. Uh, my mother-in-law gave this to me. Thank you, shout out to her. This is so I, this way I can get like this cream to it. Um, I'll probably put two of those in there and some water, let it heat up, and then it came out to this nice <laughs> creamy like thing right here. So the best part about this is that it's nice, it's chicken, and I'm trying to stay away from cheese as much as possible. I try to put parsley flakes in here to make it look healthy or just some kind of like, uh, I guess it's so it can look good. I put as much in there as I can. <laughs> If I had spinach, I would have put spinach in there too. That would have been great. But I have parsley spikes. Mix that in there. Now it looks like it's a little gourmetish. I like that. And now that I got my base uh, flavor, I'm gonna try to mix it. And I mixed them all into the Tupperware. I'm gonna put these into, uh, you know, the pot, and then try to mix them in as I go. Hopefully it'll fit in there. It should fit in the pot this way. If not, then I don't know. We'll figure it out. I mean, kind of just rolling as I go with this. It's looking good so far, though.
for the most part in the middle of the stirring uh eventually everything was stirred in and the cream got all around everything which is really nice it looks good it looks good nice creamy this is the my finishing touch so i put obviously you saw all the ingredients i put in here but it's i don't know what to call this other than like chicken vegetable pasta i guess but it came out looking nice i like it it smells great it, I will feel healthy eating it, <laughs> hopefully. And it's a big pot, so it'll last. Yay! This is what I made. I didn't go to the grocery store, and that's what I found in the refrigerator. And I just put everything together. So, that's what I have. <laughs> so, for the um, my final take on the food and how it tasted... I would say it was a little hard to get all the ingredients all in one scoop, but you know, it was a, uh, it was a uh, okay. You know, it was all right. I would say I would put more seasoning in there if I knew more about how to put more seasoning inside of this thing. I would suggest put more seasoning. But other than that, it was pretty good. Well, that was me cooking something today. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked this video and. Uh, like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye